What we're going to do in this video is prove to ourselves that the derivative with respect to x of natural log of x is indeed equal to one over x. So let's get started. So just using the definition of a derivative, if I were to say the derivative with respect to x of natural log of x, that is going to be the limit as delta x approaches zero of the natural log of x plus delta x minus the natural log of x, all of that over delta x. So now we can use a few logarithm properties. We know that if I have the natural log of a minus the natural log of b, this is equal to the natural log of a over b. So we can use that right over here, where I have the natural log of something minus the natural log of something else. So all of this is going to be equal to the limit as delta x approaches zero of the natural log of this divided by that. So x plus delta x over x. x plus delta x over x. All of that over delta x. And actually, well let me just write it that way. All of that over delta x. Once again, all I did, if I have natural log of that minus natural log of that, that's the same thing as natural log of this first expression divided by that second expression. Comes straight out of our logarithm properties. Well, inside of this logarithm, x divided by x is one, and then delta x divided by x, we could just write that as delta x over x. So that's another way of writing that. And then we could put a one over delta x out front. So we could say this is the same thing as, this is equal to the limit as delta x approaches zero of, I'll do this in another color, so this I can rewrite as one over delta x times the natural log of one plus, one plus delta x over x. Let me close that parentheses. So now we can use another exponent property. If I have, I'll write it out here, if I have a times the natural log of b, that is equivalent to the natural log of b to the a. And so here, this would be the a in that case. So I could bring that out and make that an exponent on this. So this is all going to be equal to the limit as delta x approaches zero of the natural log of, give myself some space, one, one plus delta x over x to the one over delta x power. One over delta x power. Now this might start to look familiar to you. It might start to look close to the definition of e, and we are indeed getting close to that. In order to get there fully, I'm going to do a change of variable. I'm going to say, let's let, let's let n equal delta x over x. Delta x over x. Well in that case, then if you multiply both sides by x, you get delta x is equal to nx. Once again, just multiplied both sides of this equation by x and swapped the sides there. And then if you wanted one over delta x, one over delta x, that would be equal to one over nx, which we could also write as one over n times one over x. Or actually, let me write it this way. Actually, that's the way I do want to write it. So these are all of the substitutions that I want to do in my change of variable. And we also want to say, well look, as delta x is approaching zero, what is n going to approach? Well, as delta x approaches zero, we have n will approach zero as well. Zero over x, well that's just gonna be zero for any x that is not equal to zero. And that's okay because zero is not even in the domain of natural log of x. So this is going to be, for our domain it works, that is delta x approaches zero, n approaches zero. And you could think about it the other way around, as n approaches zero, delta x approaches zero. So now let's do our change of variable. So if we make the substitutions, instead of taking the limit as delta x approaches zero, we are now going to take the limit as n approaches zero of 
the natural log of give myself some parentheses and I'll say 1 plus and now this is the same thing as n 1 plus n and then all of that is going to be raised to the 1 over n times 1 over x that's what 1 over delta x is equal to this is 1 over delta x right over here which we have over here and it's the same thing as 1 over n times 1 over x so let me write that down so this is the same thing as 1 over n times 1 over x. Now we can use this same exponent property to go the other way around. Well actually let me just rewrite this another time. So this is going to be the same thing as the limit as n approaches 0 of the natural log of 1 plus, I'll just write this in orange, 1 plus n to the 1 over n if I raise something to an exponent and that's times something else, I can, that's the same thing as raising it to the first exponent and then raising that to the second value. This comes, once again, straight out of our exponent properties. And now we can use this property the other way to bring this 1 over x out front. But in fact, the 1 over x itself is not affected as n approaches 0. So we can even take it completely out of the limit. So we could take it all the way over there. And this is when you should be getting excited. This will be equal to 1 over x times the limit as n approaches 0 of the natural log of 1, 1 plus n, let me do that in orange color, 1 plus n to the 1 over n. And now the we, what really gets affected is what's going on inside of the natural log. That's where all of the n's are. And so let's bring the limit inside of that. So this is all going to be equal to, let me get myself some space, a little bit of extra chalkboard space. This is going to be equal to 1 over x times the natural log, times the natural log of the limit as n approaches 0 of 1 plus n to the 1 over n, close those parentheses. Now this is exciting. What is inside the natural log here? Well, this business right over here, this is a definition of the number e. So that is equal to e. Well, what's the natural log of e? Well, that's just 1. So it's 1 over x times 1. Well, that is indeed equal to 1 over x, which is exactly the result that we were looking for. That the derivative with respect to x of natural log of x is 1 over x. Very exciting.